Hi, if you haven't noticed, this is a vlog from my time in Beijing, China, for the global round of the World Scholars Cup 2019. Slight disclaimer, I did forget to vlog like half of the trip, so some of this will be a lot of random footage that I just cut up into pieces and paste it together. <laughs> We got up to some random antics on the flight, like playing Uno and just kind of walking around and talking to the flight attendants. We didn't spend that much time in the airport, but we did spend uh, about 13 hours in total flight time. shuttle bus right so that it can take us to ah! we've got a real drug addict right here we're in the bus Emo's Bala Emo's eh we're in the bus we made it what am I doing? Kaya got him Kaya the fish I don't know Take a nice nap and everything will be completely fine. What is happening back there? Okay, ta. Lali bar bali bita. We can do the giant foot thing. It's being grumpy. The giant foot thing? Giant foot? Who has a giant foot? We don't know how to vlog, but we're only amateurs. This is sad. Wow, I look like a catfish. A what? Catfish. Catfish. Catfish at the. Catfish. Hi. Yeah. Okay. So I forgot to say goodnight. <laughs> um. And we are in a hotel room. It's lights out time, and I'm going to bed. See you in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna play the song. I just want to play. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip as much as I can. The sink is what? Oh, 
Yeah, it's lapan. Why about the No, like the oh. I. My low. No, your low. Your low. Hey. Your low. If you watch I get paid. I, I look, look after, after the these animals. animals. <laughs> the phone dwellers. They're, they're very well behaved. I've oh, trained them to stay at their phones for the majority of their lives. Good. Yeah, you are. It's happening. I'm finally meeting the phone dwellers. They're an exotic species. <laughs> yes. She, this one. She spends her whole life. I'm. I'm. No, the, she I'm spent the, ten years I'm, in this zoo. The whole time. <laughs> the, I, I, I'm the, the whole time she's just spent on her phone. This yeah, one's very. That is the true nature of the I'm, phone dwellers. I've been doing intense research, and we found out the more mature phone dwellers, they like to spend quite some time on their phones. Especially they like surfing the internet, especially on Instagram. <laughs> they like talking to their boyfriends oh all the time. Uh -huh. Very surprisingly, phone dwellers always get the guys. So the biggest identified family of phone dwellers is the Kardashians, and um, they seem to have reproduced quite a lot. I mean, uh, which which grandchild are we on? The ninth or the tenth? And how long has it been? Four years. Let's uh, let's all take a moment to pray for Kim Kardashian's uterus. But then, hey, she can afford another one. <laughs> she can afford another one. President Trump is releasing statements on TV. Wow. Tune into our segment on IGTV. <laughs> and next on SGTV, we have Michelle touring the hotel. Okay, okay bye. We've got a new, new host. host. It's Inky. Hello, welcome to this segment called. Uh, what, what is it called again? The Hotel of The Hotel of <laughs> The Hotel of um, So let's see. Right from the entrance, you can observe a very beautiful bouquet of flowers. Very colorful. Very colorful. Looks like they could be balls of dandruff if they were smaller. Um, yeah. And then there's a really cool spinning door over there with like two big glasses that give it a big, you know, wedding wipes. Hi, Zara. <laughs> and then there's Zara in my heart. Yeah. Species of laziness. There are Lazy subspecies of um, the phone dwellers. Okay, continuing. We have a big mural sign painting thing that I believe gives me Seodong vibes because Kim Hong Do is Chinese, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> then there's a cool 
animal pattern on the floor. Oh, look, it's a chandelier. I shall go swing on it. See a who? I only know Inan. <laughs> and then these pillars are huge, like. I mean, I don't think you um a good. Uh, that's inky compared to that gigantic pillar. There is like a rail, and then there's a little cool uh, thingy, uh, pattern thingy on the rail, and uh, that's the list. More scholars. Look at the shop. We've got some scholars over there. That's happening. Lost stuff. Yeah. Amarna Taka. Need money? Bank of China. Hotel? Chivago. No. Uh, I mean. Hotel I mean, Beijing Continental Grand. Yes, Beijing Continental. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look at the door. Let's see it in action. It is not in action. There's no one walking on it. So that's that's kind of sad. So the rest of the phone dwellers have migrated and they have gathered in this one small area. As you can see, they are a very close family of phone dwellers. Oh, <laughs> this one is a hybrid between phone dweller and blobfish. <laughs> blobfish? It was your face then, man. Sad face, the frown. I like to interact with my animals so I make sure that I get the right treatment and the right phone. She is a certified zookeeper yes. and she wow. is a certified phone dweller researcher. Yes. Oh, wow. She's a committee of phone dwelling, the, the phone dwelling society which studies and, and does research about phone All research must start somewhere. Yes. Okay, so we've got these two. And then we've got Zisha and Miss. She is the head of the zoo. She, um, my, my she's boss. in charge of the zookeeper. She's her boss. She's also the um, confused one. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's another... Um, there's a phone woman approaching. She's the sweet one. She's known as the, the friendly one in the group. Phone dwellers are very anti-social. They are mostly introverts and they show signs and symptoms of sociopathies. So we have identified that most phone dwellers like spending time by themselves in isolated spaces. They are not be sociopaths who kill people. That's why we try to keep all of our animals in public cages such as this one. I make sure all of our animals are provided with the most comfortable means of living. That's why we would like to ask all of you to donate money to make the living standards. I do not believe or oh, agree with Nuran. Yeah, as, we, as I told you, sociopathic tendencies, <laughs> introvertedness, <laughs> negativeness, and just I not the most positivity. It has been proven that phone dwellers are a um, antisocial species and they thrive in um, smaller enclosed spaces. Especially dark spaces, very cold spaces. Yes. They like higher temperatures, warm blankets. No, they, they like. Lower temperatures. No, no? Like hot, yeah. They prefer lower temperatures, but yeah, they like also warm, like to be cuddled. Yeah. Like so hugs. give them cuddles and they're blankets. Like Excuse me, phone bell. Can you give us a statement on your love of hugs? My love of hugs. I like hugs sometimes, but when I'm in the mood for it, and if I'm not, I die. Now we have the zookeeper. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Can you give us a statement on the antisocial nature of most phone dwellers? It's very gay. <laughs> In a good way. Oh, nice. uh, it's not bad, but. There she goes. And then we were off to the Great Wall of China. To see the frankly strange antics we got up to, tune into the next episode of our travels in Beijing. <laughs>